It looks like someone's got Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, so let's unpack this and see what it holds. All right, what's happening, my block buddies? This is a really big deal because it looks like someone has actually gotten the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game early. So how did this happen? I mean, did this just jump off of a truck somewhere or is this some sort of fakery going on here? Could it just be the return of League speak right here? Well, no, I think that this is completely real. I think that this happens quite a lot and we have a lot of things to show, not just this image, which still is pretty cool. This is the inside of that box and I even really love the cartridge here. I mean, it's such a simple design. Think of Smash Brothers Ultimate's like visual design and it's very simple, it's black and it's white. And then the cartridge here has this very cool like transparent Smash logo on it, which is just very simple, but I love the design. And we can see the characters on the box. So a lot of the newcomers are here, the Inkling, Ridley, we have Simon and Richter, of course we have K. Rule, Isabel, and we have, of course, Incineroar, so uh, the box holds different characters. And we're going to get a look at the back side of that box, which is very interesting to me because it shows a lot of things that we haven't seen until thus far. So it actually says everyone is here, which is, of course, the big tagline of the game. And I'm so happy that they included it on the box. So the person who leaked this image of, you know, the box, what it looks like and all that kind of stuff, um, actually showed what the backside of the box looks like. So I'm very happy that we get to have a little bit of a look at this. Um, it leaked, you know, early, so it's really cool to see. Everyone is here. Every Smash Brothers fighter returns, joined by all new challengers. I thought the wording of challengers here is also pretty interesting because, you know, to me, it's like, not necessarily challengers, right? They're just, you know, new members of the cast. So it's really fun to see them worded like this. So uh, it says 70 plus fighters. And of course this could, you know, skyrocket even more with the, you know, the new DLC fighters that are coming. And it says 100 plus stages, which is 103 and added five other stages. So it could, you know, potentially even go higher than that, even with more DLC. And then it says new game modes and more. And then an all new adventure mode, rescue fighters and hundreds of characters characters in a massive single player campaign. And it shows a lot of cool images, including the female trainer, the world of light mode. So I really love that the world of light mode is talked about here because it's a big selling point. Now, the other part of the box art shows a couple of other characters. And I like this because it shows, you know, every character in order, you know, because, you know, we can see Mario, Donkey Kong, Link and Samus, and then it shifts to Dark Samus. So this is completely the row of, you know, the original numbered characters, which I really like. Um, it introduces Melee in the second row, and then it introduces Brawl, and then it introduces, of course, Smash uh, for 3DS and Wii U. And I think it's just a really cool way to put this box art together. It's somehow all kind of fit together, which is really, really cool. And then we can also, of course, see the ready to fight, which shows on the character select screen. And you can see ready to fight like gigantic on the bottom of the inside of that box. So we just saw the back side of the box. Presumably the front is just that single, you know, character artwork. Now we get an even more detailed look at this thing. And this shows a little bit more of what it was leaked. We can see a Facebook page in the background. Of course, uh, we can't make up what all the text means here, but it's interesting to me to note that, um, yeah, this has been leaked by a real person. You know, we can see someone holding the case. We can see uh, the screenshot has been taken near his PC. Um, yeah, we don't really know if it could be faked at this point. Of course, it's still possible, but there are screenshots on the Nintendo Switch undocked. So let's look at that. We can see the main menu here. And I think that there's a big possibility that this is, you know, completely real. I think that, of course, the game has gone gold for a long time. Sakurai has said as much. So it is completely possible that this is here. I love the menu. I actually love the look of it. Very, uh, maybe a little bit Persona-esque, right? And it looks like near the home button, you can see it on the right side on that tab that you open with the shoulder buttons. You can actually see that there's an update right there. I mean, there's like a red dot somewhere. So that probably means there's something new unlocked in Smash mode and which could be maybe a new character that you have yet to play as. So maybe that could be an indicator of new things that have unlocked and you have not yet touched. I remember in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, it would say new with new character that you unlocked. And if you hover over them, 
uh, it, it would not say new anymore. So looks really cool. And I think that this player that is showing off this gameplay is now actually going to press the button smash so we can get to see what happens if you, you know, choose a match. Now we skip the rules settings, so we're not going to do any stock matches or, or look at any of that kind of detail because we are immediately, and this is how Smash Brothers Ultimate now works, we are immediately dropping into the stage selection screen, which is great to see too. This is still undocked version, which I think is really awesome. Uh, because yeah, we haven't really thought about it, but we're going to be playing Smash Brothers, a full HD game, but on the go. And we can of course see all the stages here, and it's really cool to know that all these stages that we've loved from past Smash games, not just Smash Brothers 64, but a lot of reimagined stuff from Melee as well that has now given an HD makeover, so we can see, you know, fan favorites like Fountain of Dreams, but there's also a lot of stuff from the 3DS game now brought over in HD, and there are even a few new stages. I mean, the new Donk City Hall stage, and I totally love Moray Towers, the Castlevania stage, and of course, the tower from Breath of the Wild. So there's still room for a couple of other stages, um, presumably even one more, right? Maybe there's one stage that you unlock after World of Light. Maybe it's some sort of final boss stage where you fight Galeem, and that will be, you know, an alternate vinyl destination kind of stage, which would be cool. And then, of course, the other five stages that you unlock through the DLC. Maybe Piranha Plant comes with a stage two, so that could all change. And now from the stage selection, we actually go on to something pretty strange because this looks to be the uh, classic mode of all things. So this doesn't directly translate into what we see. Um, actually, when you hover over a character, you can see what the name is of their root, and their root is basically, you know, what their classic mode is called. And I just love this picture because you can see with the emblems on the left up, upper side of the character portraits, which has been cleared on classic mode, right? So you can see Villager has cleared it, you can see Yoshi and Mario have all cleared their classic modes, um, and we actually hover over Yoshi, so you can not only see all his colors, but you can also see on what difficulty the classic mode has been cleared, and you can see it's in the 7.5, which is actually pretty good. Um, and of course, the score is on the right, and you can see what the classic mode is called. And for Yoshi, Yoshi's route is actually called Jurassic Journey, which, you know, it completely makes sense what this would be. It would be fighting, you know, dinosaur creatures, so it would probably have Bowser and Giga Bowser as a boss, and you would fight characters like Ridley, like King K. Rool, maybe like the, the Koopa Kids too, you know, Bowser Jr. and all that kind of stuff. We have a lot of characters to draw from in Smash Brothers. And now we cut to a screenshot that is kind of like a CPU versus, you know, a human match. So I believe that this is what the Smash screenshot from the main menu is going up to. So this is not any sort of mode, I just think that this is a normal Smash, like a normal multiplayer, but then single player match. Uh, he just, you know, freely picked Mario and is fighting against Samus. It could have been random and, you know, have this random costume, but it could also have just been, you know, I'll select Samus but do a different costume so it isn't so generic and I can actually show people that this screenshot is in fact real and not just me running the YouTube app on the Switch, which, you know, could also easily happen. But, of course, fighting a CPU isn't really possible in any of the demos, so it looks really, you know, convincing, really real, and I don't think that this would have been faked. Even more so, we can see gameplay here, and we're, of course, fighting in that 3DS Pokemon stage, and, you know, rebranded re in this beautiful HD work, and we can, of course, also see how beautiful the stage looks and the character models and the new lighting. I mean, Samus is all covered in the shadows. Mario is right there in the light. So, um, yeah, I believe that these leaks are completely real. It's scary to know that someone has Smash Brothers Ultimate now and could leak World of Light stuff. Remember, we are not doing spoilers on this channel. And if we are, we will, of course, tell you guys as much. So we are going to look at the comment question of the day and comment question comes from Bat Comics 2 Z E R O Bandana Waddle D for TLC saying Gino and Bandana Waddle D is a spirits or not? Gino is an online avatar guys, but please Gino for Smash and Legendy. <laughs> I love this comment, man, and it's crazy. <laughs> it's it's really interesting to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really hope that we get to see more of maybe classic mode or spirits, and I'll see you guys later.